Hi, welcome back. And we start a new blog which is devoted to comparing two population means assuming paired differences. Okay, so when it comes to paired samples, what it means? Paired samples to student tests is used to decrease uh, the degree of variability through concentrating on the desirable features. So put it like this, imagine that you analyze patients from two groups and uh, assume that one group is before the treatment and the other group is after the treatment. If you pick those patients randomly, that implies that you will deal with the higher degree of variability because you can pick people of different gender, of different age, of different habits, genetics, and so on and so forth. So consequently, you will have to collect more observations in order to make your sample representative, in order to be able to make any reasonable conclusions about the evidence against the null hypothesis. However, if you observe the same people before and after the treatment, you decrease the degree of variability significantly. Basically, you observe the person of the same gender, of the same age, of the same habits, and of the same genetics. The only difference is that in one case, you observe this person before the treatment, and in the second case, you observe this person after the treatment. So that's why it makes much more sense to use uh, the test for paired samples as long as those samples are indeed paired. So like condition of the same patient before and after the treatment, condition of the same person at different time points, and so on and so forth. So yeah, samples should be related somehow and actually it's a good idea to use the test for paired samples of course, as long as those samples are indeed paired, because as I'm going to show you later, um, it will be easier for you to reject the null hypothesis in this case. So when it comes to test statistic, here it is. So XD bar stands for sample mean difference. In other words, we have to calculate the differences and then calculate the mean. SD stands for sample standard deviation of differences. Again, you calculate the differences first and then you calculate sample standard deviation. ND stands for the number of differences or number of pairs like before and after. And ND uh, minus one stands for the number of degrees of freedom. So for instance, if you observe nine people before and after the treatment, the number of degrees of freedom is going to be equal to 8, not 16 as in case of independent samples comparison. So that was it when it comes to introduction. Thank you and see you in the next video.